uh, welcome back again guys to my uh, youtube channel and uh, today uh, i will show you how to connect the uh, uh, simrad er81 uh, repeater uh, uh, you remember last uh, video i have that i installed i received new one of this this is old one here i have in workshop i just repaired it and uh, this is the uh, instruction manual of the <coughs> uh, Simrad uh, ER81 okay and what happened is uh, when we received that uh, uh, repeater we don't have the uh, dimmer uh, board so problem is uh, how can we connect uh, the connection without the dimmer board so I will show you now uh, how to connect it uh, it is a modification okay I'll just show you first this is the manual um, okay this is the uh, actual connection of the uh, repeater this is our uh, gyro compass uh, I have it here so I have this uh, this is a single uh, uh, their compass uh, control unit it is a compact okay okay this is a compact means uh, it is a single gyro only so we will connect it later here I will show you so now this is the connection and this is the uh, cable this is the actual cable uh, block for uh, this one okay black is the signal uh, white black and white uh, black is uh, the hot and uh, white is cold and we have the uh, the red one this is the VCC okay this is the VCC a red one this is number 13 okay and the green one the green one is number 14 okay this is going to the dimmer and the yellow is 15 and this is the uh, uh, 24 volts uh, supply positive and the brown is uh, number 16 okay. I just show you properly number 16 this is the negative one okay now what we will do is to connect this with yeah uh, supposed to be potentiometer but we don't have potentiometer okay i will just continue this manual first to finish okay this is the settings of the manual of the uh, uh this is the uh, control box okay so if you don't have the manual sometimes this jumper settings is uh, totally different so just to make the complete information you will have when you're doing the installation okay this is the and this is the uh, installation now okay this is the s1 s2 and s3 okay this is the uh, ER881 uh, repeater and dip switches settings because actually uh, in, uh, when you receive this uh, it is in uh, in different signal so you need to configure it you need to uh, set the settings properly okay and uh, this is the uh, settings okay Okay. 
okay so, this is it for the manuals so, and for the um, <coughs> the interim board or i mean for uh, this connection so okay we have here okay. Wala pa. Pero may online banking na siya. Meron. Yung password niya pa rin. Okay. Okay, so my plan is... Uh, sorry for the call guys. Every time I make a uh, uh, recording video, I have a call. <laughs> Sorry for that. And my plan is to connect here. This is signal output here, 44 and 45. Okay. So now, what I will do, I don't like to take the supply from here because I have supply here. Or is it? Uh, this is uh, 40, 45. I have a supply here, 20, 24 volts, but I don't like to take from here. I don't like to gamble to destroy my it's not about, about the we're talking about safety for some time and so what i will do <coughs> i have power supply extra an external power supply here i will connect here power supply and just put the take the signal from my gyro and connect it both of them okay do uh, as we said okay. uh, twenty four volts is uh, yellow so twenty four volts is yellow I sit already my I sit already my uh, uh, voltage here twenty four volts uh, yellow is uh, positive okay and brown is negative okay now this uh, black and white uh, this is the signal okay uh -huh. take the cable from here now I don't know if you can see this. So I have this cable. I have this is positive. Okay, I will take. I have here uh, 44 and 45. This yes. 44 and 45. So my 44 is positive. My 44 is positive here 44 is positive and my 45 is negative okay that is the connection now okay then mark already this is positive so here my positive is black IEC hot okay hot is positive so I put black okay negative and white this 
so I didn't connect it yet. Because, okay, we'll just see what will happen. Let's turn on. the problem okay I just uh, ignore it actually guys is this uh, gyro is still uh, under repair because I didn't still have the spare parts for my uh, power board I'm still waiting so but the only thing I want to test is to test this uh, ERAP so when the signal uh, was stab uh, stabilized by the master gyro and this uh, see it is already in initial I don't know if you can see it okay this is in initial now means the master gyro is uh, having a stabilization uh, a sequence and we will wait uh, for a few seconds until he will uh, set to uh, running a uh, uh, sequence so still my uh, ERAT uh, is still off so I already set the power so this is 24 volts with the uh, 2 amperes turn it on see what happened my dimmer is on but because because I don't have st signal still in my uh, uh, master gyro, this will be uh, blinking. Okay. Okay. So I have the dimmer light. But you see it's getting slowly slowly off okay now it is totally off so I don't have the dimmer because uh, I don't have the uh, connection of the uh, of the uh, dimmer board I have this too okay we will wait for some time okay, it's not stable it's on off on off we wait for some time I have the uh, signal from my uh, gyro takes uh, maybe uh, a minute or seconds By the way, this is the Simrad GC8085 uh, compact uh, gyro compass. Now, you hear that uh, sound of uh, the uh, motor. It's already starting. And okay, it's already st uh, starts uh, stabilizing already building the uh, rpm okay and i will check this you see now i have here i have this uh, 22 ohm i don't know if i can see it if you can see it This is 22 ohms uh, 3 watts uh, resistor. Okay, and you will see. I just connect it here in. You see what happens when I touch. See, it starts blinking. Okay, see when I connect it here, there, 
this is the negative side okay I have the uh, dimmer okay okay you see I remove it now mm. now my gyro stabilize okay start moving already okay okay my dim is not stable it's on off on off so you need so you need to connect this um, dimmer uh, connection so just put the supply here and it will be stable and uh, okay yes. see I remove it is off okay but when I connect connect you see it's getting on okay just a minute I will just fix this okay so probably I fixed it already okay it's connected so I have the dimmer now what happened okay this is the drawing this is the uh, actual connection uh, supposed to be in okay my gyro already off but at least i tested it already this is the problem of my gyro but uh, you see when the gyro is off and you don't have signal from the master gyro this er81 will blink telling you that i don't receive any signal okay just turn the there off mm. okay so you see it is blinking even even this uh, potentiometer is connected uh, i mean the resistor is connected it is still blinking because means you don't have signal okay and what happened now uh, this is the connection okay this is the actual connection supposed to be this one in a circuit potential uh, circuit board with the potentiometer but i don't have it so what i did i just connect resistor from here to the ground okay this is 22 ohms with uh, three watts and it is working fine okay guys i hope this uh, uh, give uh, helps to uh, anyone who install the uh, uh, new uh, ER81 uh, Simrad uh, repeater without uh, the um, dimmer board and you know sometimes it is very difficult even me if I if I'm forget if I forget these connections and I will be you know uh, you don't have a hundred percent uh, um, assurance that uh, it will be working or uh, you will not destroy the equipment so for the records uh, this is what I did and this is what uh, uh, I do the modification after I'm receiving this uh, ER81 Simrad uh, uh, their compass repeater okay guys uh, thank you very much for watching and please uh, uh, subscribe on my youtube channel and uh, also keep watching on my some other videos uh, hope uh, it can help uh, to uh, give an uh, idea and uh, uh, it is a reminder also for someone or for me also for some times uh, please uh, click also the um, uh, notification button so every time I uh, upload new videos updates you will be notified sorry for that knocking sound guys somebody is doing maintenance here in our office thank you very much have a nice day bye